Hi, I thought I'd pop on and do a quick flip through of my personal rings setup. I'm using a Julio Medium Campania in Rust. I think I've had this for a year, possibly longer. Um, I didn't get it brand new. I did a swap with um, one of my friends, but it's got some lovely shine to it and patina from lots of use. Never babies it, it just goes in my bag and gets used all the time. So I used Personal Rings majority of 2022. I decided to move to Bookbound for 2023, but I've realized I miss having all the separate sections and the functionality of my rings. So I've moved back into Personal for now probably for the rest of the year. So let's get started. So I have, let's do the zip it first. And here there is absolutely nothing at the moment. I've actually ordered some new page flowers like these ones. So I've lost that packet. And um, this is just a bookmark from Opal and Fern. And um, then here I have this little teddy bear. Um, I bought them in a pack of six, I think from AliExpress. And I've just stuck it to a piece of card with some washi tape, stuck that in there. Um, this paper is from Sainsbury's. If you're in the UK, you know Sainsbury's um, sells stationery. This I got for, I think it was a pound in their sale. It's, it came in like a pack of two for like shopping lists, but it's really good size for personal rings. And I just punch it and I slip on the punch holes so that I can quickly whip them in and out for making shopping lists and notes. Um, so we have an Ollie clip, this daisy one, and um, this is an old design, I'm not sure if they still sell it. Picture of my kids, family picture from our holiday a couple of years ago, um, a couple of little drawings that my youngest done for me. Um, right, this is a dashboard from GG Plannery on Instagram. You order through her Instagram. She doesn't have a website or an Etsy as far as I know. Um, we have some vellum from Sterling Inc. Can't tell you which month it was. I can't remember. It was from 2022. Um, this is a pocket dashboard from Cat Espresso Co. And I've just put some scrapbook paper and a couple of pictures of my kids in there. This dashboard is from Type A for Alexa, and I just use it to put some sticky notes ready for when I need them. Um, and then what I use these sticky notes for is this. Now this is um, a couple of different insets from Latour Notes. So basically I have her design paper here, and then printed on the other side is this insert. Um, I can't remember what the insert's called, uh, I've had this a very long time, but I lam I printed this insert with the design paper on the back, laminated it so that I can use it to put sticky notes down in each section. And this is like my ongoing majority, like my ongoing important to do's basically. Um, and once something's done, I just remove the sticky note. When there's something new, I add another. Then we have this is from SM Plans. This is, again, another type of to-do list. Um, maybe things that aren't pressing to be done straight away. Um, and I categorise them for whether there's something to do with my kids, something to do with the house. If there's a deadline, put it here. And if it's done, I'll tick it off. So I have a couple of those. And so this first section is my lists and notes section. So that's my main to-do list. And then I have another type of to-do list here from Paper Test Designs. I have a shopping list. Um, where's this from? Lightly Lux. An add to planner list from Plan with B. And then the majority of my lists are on this um, paper from Paper Test Designs. So I have a wish list for myself and then I have one for each of my kids and my husband. So there's not much filled out on these pages yet because obviously I've just moved back into personal rings. 
so I haven't got around to filling everything out yet and then I have a list for the house as well um tv shows I want to catch up on films I want to see I haven't even kept up to date with what films are coming out so I need to have a look online and see so I can fill that out then we've got a couple of spare lists then we have this is a Sunday list so it's, it's again it's a to-do list but it's more things that I just want to achieve at some point in the future that I want to get done. It, they're not important pressing things. Um, then I have an online purchases. I I cannot remember where this came from. I believe it might have been a freebie. I, I'm not 100% sure. Um, coupon codes, SM plans. This I've had a long time. I had this in my rings last year, possibly the year before I... I found it online and I just printed it to size, um, cut it, punched it. It's not a personal rings insert. Um, this is a spring clear out, which I'm hopefully going to do over the next couple of weeks. It's from Crossway Printables. Again, I think this might have been a freebie from a couple of years ago. Task manager from Paper Test Design. So I'm going to use this to um, plan out projects around the house that we want to get done over the summer. Then we have these cleaning inserts. Um, I'm not sure. I'll have to try and have a look to see if I can remember where these came from. Um, so there's a deep cleaning guide here. So I just basically use this as examples of what needs to be done in each room. Sort of like to jog my memory when I'm making my cleaning list. I've just started now filling this out. This is going to be my routine that I'd hope to um, achieve every week so rather than filling one of these out every week I'll just have the master list here and then what I plan to do is use this cleaning tracker insert from paper tests and hey planner girl bundle and starting from June I'm going to map out the daily tasks um, I'll put down which day of the week it's got to be achieved ones that are weekly tasks and then the monthly ones down here and I'll see how that goes try and get on top of the house and then I, this is my notes section so these are notes pages from Annie Plans printables so I've just got a list from my daughter's birthday for self-care ideas um, then I've got some grid to my river paper just for writing scratch notes um, some more notes paper and this is a Latour Notes um, boxes insert and I use this for pen swatching, like pen testing before I use them in my rings. I'll just keep that there for reference as well. And then we've got this flyleaf, this is um, one of the Filofax brand ones, got them from Amazon a couple of years ago, I think they come in a pack of two, they're, they're only a couple of pounds in the UK. Um, picture of my son. Then we move on to my calendar section so this is a month on two page insert from uh, Marcia Barucci so we have the yearly overview here and we have January to June sort of as a perpetual style but I, I'm not using this I, I might come back to it for something but I, I'm not too sure and then it's just pen and paper these are my monthlies. Tabs are from Planner Monkey Co. These little post-it type things are Midori brand. I bought them from Amazon Japan. And we've got my this month dashboard. Um, I can't remember where this came from. Well, I bought it on Etsy. I can't remember the name of the shop though. Planet Shah, possibly. Um, so I've got the full year of that, and then you've got an overview for 2024. Now I've bought new inserts for my weekly. I'm trying to do all dated inserts because I get I really do not enjoy having to date things myself in my rings. So this is from Perfective Paper. This is a week on two pages. So I have like the main tasks for this week here. Then I've got my to-do list on this side. I've decided to do as my sort of like house chores that need to be done through the week and I can take them off. 
this is for scheduled appointments um, then I'm recording meals for the week here and um, they're not specific to the day of the week they're just meals that I've planned for any day that week and I take them off when we've used them um, then my running task list for the week and then I do a little tracker down here so I've got the rest of the year in here through till end of December all ready to go and then we move into my daily section so I'm using a day on one page um, from my Sabramucci um, I chose these ones I wanted a dated daily but I didn't want a timeline and the majority of dailies always have a timeline and I I don't schedule that many things my kids are in school my husband's at work and I just I don't need to time block my day uh, I wanted somewhere to do a running to-do list and then somewhere to make notes I've tried using plain paper lined paper strategy paper and all sorts but I really do prefer having the dated inserts so this one I've been get, I've been doing this for the last two days and I, I am actually really liking it so far so you can see here I've got a running to-do list make notes for the day and then I just down here I've just recorded any money like spending that I've done that day and um, this dashboard is from I think is it Clickster Creations on Etsy um, then I have a little pocket here from Amazon, just little card pockets, came with like a pack of 100 for a couple of pounds. Uh, this daily pages checklist, I've had this for a long time, it's from Never Paperland on Etsy. Little picture of my middle child. Then here's today. And then I plan out things for the week ahead as and when they come to me and write them down and then here's one of those um piece of paper that i said i got from sainsbury's and it's obviously i just got it slotted in there and i'm starting my shopping list for when i go shopping or when i place my tesco's order on friday and then i can just rip that out and bin it when i'm done so i've got the rest of may and all of june in here ready to go that ends my calendar section next we move into my personal section um lovely photograph of me and my two girls there um so this dashboard is from i cannot remember it was on etsy i'll have to have a look and see if i can remember who i got that from um Another picture of my girls. These are all quite old photos, but they're some of my favourites. So that's why they're in here. And then I'm using this inset from Paper Test Designs. I think this might have been from her yearly bundle. Um, but I'm using this as not, it's not gratitude day. It's like one line a day. And I'm basically just recording something from that day so that I can when I have the time, when I decide I want to sit down and journal, I've currently got this. Um, this is a Nanami Cafe Notes B6 Slim in a so journal cover. And I'm using this with my deco stickers, my fountain pens. So I just like to record something down from the day. So when I go back to do my journal, it's just a, a trigger point for me to remember what I wanted to write about. So I've got that there. Um, bookmarks from Aloe's Creative Corner and then I'm using this monthly tracker insert from Paper Test Designs and I basically I, rec I track the same things each month I think it's about eight or nine things I track each month I track my symptoms because I have um, endometriosis and some other joint problems and things so I like to um, track everything there and then I'm also starting to track my sleep because I'm not sleeping too well at the moment. So I have a few of those ready to go. This is um, part of the Peanuts Planico yearly bundle and I'm using this to track my exercise. I just decided to use a little heart to mark it. I didn't know what else to do. Could have done a cross, but 
thought the heart looks cuter. Uh, so I just recently got myself an exercise bike. See, I've not done too well so far, but I hope to pick it up soon. Um, so that's that. And then I have a weight tracker. Um, this was on Etsy. I cannot remember the name of the shop. I'm sorry. Um, I haven't actually filled that out yet. I need to get some batteries for my scales. Then we have a doctor's visits, insert from paper test signs and hey plan a girl. So if I need to visit the GP or the hospital, I can keep that recorded on there. Then I have, here is a health log insert from SM plans. So I'll just record anything significant with my health on there. And then I have a medication log from the paper tests and hey planner girl bundle i don't record my everyday medicines that i take every evening i only record say if i was prescribed any antibiotics or i needed to take antihistamines or something or i was taking extra painkillers because i've hurt myself in some way or something that's what's recorded here my everyday medication i record on my tracker Next, we move into my book log. Um, some of you may know that I'm an avid reader. I I've, I've began reading again. I used to read sort of one or two books a year. Then I started reading daily in the second half of 2021. And since then, I, ha I, I just haven't been able to stop. Last year, I read, I think it was 150 books. Um, through the entire year and I've set myself a goal of 150 books again this year and so far it, I'm over halfway there so I, I'm pretty sure I'm going to surpass that this year um so I have this is part I think it was part of a bundle reading bundle from Cofective Paper but I just use this to mark off every day that I've read something um then we have these post-it notes these are just cheap ones from aliexpress they came in not no from amazon they came in like a pack of six you got lined ones grid ones plain ones they you had these sort of like white off white ones and craft paper type brown style ones um then from eo edits i have this books to read insert last year i just had a running list of books i wanted to read and it got overwhelming trying to keep track of the release dates and what genres they were and what series they were of these this year i've decided to do one insert per month so i'm tracking i'm putting down the date that the books are released that month and then any extra books that are already out that maybe i have downloaded or i've bought physical physical copies of that I want to read soon or on the post-it notes I do have a lot more books that I want to read as well um and I just have them like on my goodreads to to be read list um there's just too many to keep to write every single book that I'm interested in down um and my phys all of the physical books that I've got that I still haven't read yet there's no point in me writing a list for that because I can just look at my bookshelf and they're there so I have this all set up for the rest of the year with all of the new books that are coming out that I want to purchase or download. Then we have, this is from Annie Plans Printables. Um, I just started to fill this out yesterday, so I need to go back in and do the authors and the dates that I read the books. But so far, I've just put down the titles and what my star rating was. Um, so as you'll see, there are quite a few books on here. Because I do read every single day. And I probably average about 400 pages a day in my reading. Um, now, this is a pocket envelope insert from Gigi Plannery. Um, I can't believe it's open now. See that? And I will use this to keep any receipts that I need to keep hold of in case I need to exchange or return things when I make some purchases and the Ollie clip's just there so when the receipts go in they don't fall out. Um, this is part of the Peanuts Planner Co 
uni bundle and I'm just using this to track some paydays. Um, SM plans no spend. Uh, I used this last year. I just put down a sticker. I'll put down the dates and then I'll cover the date with a sticker every time I have a no spend day. And I'll start this again in June. I think I have three of those in here at the moment. This is a check register insert and I am going to use this for when I have a budget. If I'm going, sh going shopping, so the other week I went shopping with my daughter and I had a budget for what she could spend in certain shops. She was going out to pick her own clothes and accessories and things. So I'll use this for when there's a budget like that and I can keep track of what we've spent, where and how much money she's got left to spend. She's enjoying doing that herself now. Obviously, I go with her. She's only 10 years old, but she's enjoying having that freedom to go out and pick out her own clothes and try them on in the store and things like that. She's being a bit more expressive with what she wears. Um, this is from, I want to say, List. it's either List Lab or Simple and Trendy Co on Etsy. Um, but I use this to track some auto payments like direct debits or, um, you know, the card payments, the auto card, card payments for each month. There's not many things that I have coming out at the moment. And um, then I have another one like this, which is where I track our household rent and um, council tax that we pay. Then this. Here's, I made this myself with some acetate from the Planner Society. A little tab, metal tab on there. And it's got some post it notes. Uh, and I use, let me see if I can find a plain one. I use this insert for uh, my weekly budgeting. So my husband, he gets paid weekly, so I just budget where the paycheck's going each week. So what's going on rent, what's going on food, what's getting put away for save, to save and any other bills and things that need to get paid. Then we have this final section. Now this is my kids section. I haven't finished setting this up yet. Um, so again, this is another dashboard. This one I think was actually a Sheik's Barrow personal TN dashboard that I cut in half. And then hole punch to put in here. And again, it's just got some scrapbook paper and some of my favourite pictures of my kids. Then what I'm doing for my kids is I have the paper tests. This is similar to like what the Hobonichi have in the Hobonichi cousin. And I'm using this. I was using this same layout in my weeks setup. And basically I record any school events for my children anytime they're off sick and things like that so I have all of that recorded in my weeks and I just need to transfer over the first few months of the year and then I will carry on till the end of the year in here then we move on to the kids individual sections so I have pink for Emily purple is Abigail and then I have green for Arthur and they each have their own dashboard and then they have a purse, they have their own their photograph on there, personal information sheet from the paper test designs and hey planner girl bundle. And then they have a doctor visit insert each. They have a health log each. I've got 2022's health log in here as well for each of them so I can look back. And then they have a medication log in case they get prescribed anything from the doctors. Um, and this one's from Paper Test. The health log that I'm currently using is from SM Plans. So that is Emily section. Then you've got Abigail. The dashboards for each of them are they're all from Type A for Alexa. We've got Abigail's section, and then we've got Arthur's section. And then I've just got Flyleaf with some page flags and tabs on here that I use made with my label maker um random sheet of stickers in here I'm not, I'm not even using stickers at the moment but nothing else in these pockets yet and then in the back here i've just got some more tabs i've got some sudoku sudoku pages that i 
carry around in case the stuff at the GP for a while waiting for something to do. Um, just some little post-it notes from Muji. Sometimes use them for like meal planning and things. And then just got a couple of letters that my daughter wrote for me and her dad. I just keep them in there. The pen that I'm currently using is a Uni One, um, Uniball One. I'm not sure what the name of these short chubby ones are, but this is the colour Yogurt. It came with a 0 0.5, but I already had a whole pack of 0 0.38 refills, so I switched it out because I was using the standard Uniball ones all of last year. They're my favourite ink. In, on any paper basically they work great on tomorrow river paper they work great on like normal copy paper and they're nice they're really dark ink and they're really smooth and they don't skip so i really enjoy that and i it will fit in this pen loop but it's a bit of a tight fit and i just prefer to because this has got the little um clip there i just prefer to clip it on there like so. Um, I forgot to mention the rings that I have. They are gold 25mm cross rings. I have got some 30mm ones, but I just prefer the look of the 25 at the moment. And I don't think it's... It, it is chunky, but it's not unmanageable on the 25mm at the moment. So yeah, and it still closes perfectly fine. I could stuff it a little bit more if I wanted to, but I'm happy with it as it is at the moment. So, yeah, that's my current flip through. If you've got any questions, leave them down below and I will try and get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you. Bye.